I'm Woody and I run Rat and Pallet, a workshop in Brighton on the south coast of England. I run the workshop making furniture from recycled pallets, scaffolds and other building materials. I'm an interior design graduate. I worked in computer games for a number of years. I just wanted to do something completely different. So I quit my job, signed up on a course and went sailing for a few years. I met my partner Arenka when we were flotilla skippers in Greece. Then we set up in sailing school, did that for a number of years. Then I got into furniture making, which is what I do now. Round Pallet started when we bought our own home. The one thing we didn't want to do is move into a place where we needed to do up. And we ended up buying a place that needed doing up from the ground up. Through all the chaos of having three kids, running a business, we've always had this one aim, this one dream, that this is what we're going to do one day. The whole industrial material thing started is when we needed to do a kitchen. We priced the kitchens up at the normal DIY shops and it was so expensive. And the thing is, when you walk into a DIY shop, you walk past skips full of really good wood, stuff that you can recycle, stuff you can reclaim. And that's what I started to do. I started just taking things out of skips and they were a lot better than the stuff you could buy in any retail shop. Converted the garage into a workshop, bought in the tools, next thing I knew I'd made a kitchen, made a table, bench, sofa, bed, put them on Etsy, sold them and then it went from there really. I think people like to know that something has some personality injected into it, some feeling and some emotion behind the products that they buy. I think when you make a piece of furniture yourself it's got a story to it and that story can be passed down and down through the generations. People now they're wanting to become makers, people are kind of wising up to the whole consumer thing of waste you know, you buy some cheap furniture from China, it's in landfill within a couple of years. You make something yourself, you tend to keep it. Being paid for being creative. I think that's everybody's dream, really. I think making stuff, it's not all about the end product, it's about the creative process. Making a mistake, it's never a waste of time. You know, you ever see kids drawing or, or making stuff, they just go through reams of paper and reams of material until they get it absolutely right. And they're not bothered about it, they enjoy the process. Never short of ideas. Every time I see a piece of wood or a piece of metal, I find the London Underground, particularly when they have works done, really inspirational. And you look up there and you see all the ducts and the cable trays and the wires and how things are put together and the brackets. And you see a bed there or you see a sofa there. I think inspiration is everywhere if you look. I've got a library of designs. They've become more refined over the years. But after a while I realised I could put them online for people to download and they could source these materials themselves. They'll be a full 3D drawing with dimensions, component parts, cutting lists, information on how to source your own materials, how to put it together, everything you need to make your own furniture from scratch. Making stuff for yourself is fulfilling. It's great. You've just got to try. Anybody could do it.